What is up my anti-sugar daddies and mommies? It is the anti-sugar daddy here and in this video we're going to be talking about mucoid plaque, what it is, um, and we're also going to talk a lot about the criticism of people, especially in the medical industry, who say that mucoid plaque does not exist. I'm going to show you some crazy photos like this one here to demonstrate my own anecdotal experience of dealing with mucoid plaque. Um, and how it might be affecting you negatively. So stick around to the end of the video. This is definitely something that you're gonna want to think about doing if you're having digestive issues or if you just really care about elevating your health. So let's go ahead and dive in. So first and foremost, what is mucoid plaque? Mucoid plaque in the alternative medicine space is something that sticks in the digestive system. It is a thick rubbery substance um, caused by mucus production in the digestive system and from what a lot of alternative medical practitioners say is that from inflammation from eating too much food from just living a chaotic lifestyle nowadays having a lot of stress our digestive system is not able to process food as well as it used to be able to and what ends up happening is inflammation happens in the small intestines the stomach the large intestine the body's very smart it starts causing a lot of inflammation to try and deal with this and uh, the food becomes this kind of cesspool for bacterial overgrowth and more inflammation. And what ends up happening is the plaque starts to form on the wall of the di digestive tract. So for example, this would be the small intestine. The plaque sticks on top of that. And your small intestine is responsible for digestion of, of nutrients and, and minerals and vitamins, right? And so if this space is blocked by plaque, this space is now no longer getting any nutrients to it. And if mucoid plaque exists, what issues does it particularly cause is the question I'm sure you're asking. It's usually digestion related, malabsorption issues. For example, I'll post a photo right here of where I was before I, I removed mucoid plaque and two months later, um, I definitely saw a huge difference in my ability to absorb nutrients and put on leaner muscle. Now here is the million dollar question, does mucoid plaque exist? And I've given deep into the rabbit hole of the kinds of things that uh, medical professionals, especially in the Western medicine field, believe. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have like Eastern medicine practitioners. For a lot of people who are hyperlogical and have medical degrees from the West, they are usually super adamant against doing things like colonics. A colonic is something where uh, they put a tube up your ass and then they put a bunch of water in there. Um, from what I've seen from various videos on YouTube of uh, doctors who specialize in digestive issues, they're usually saying something along the lines of some anecdotal report of an old woman getting a colonic done because she saw a video on YouTube and she ended up having a perforation. And they use just one example to discredit the fact that it might be helping other people. If you go into a lot of these videos on YouTube with doctors talking about how uh, you shouldn't be doing colonic therapy, you'll usually find comments of people who have done colonic therapy. And of the majority of the comments I've read, I would say at least 90%, people who have done colonic therapy, they have a completely different view as to the doctors who are against doing it. And so what ends up happening, I've had friends do colonics. I, I have a, my own practice of doing colonics at home. And I think if you're ever looking for answers, you should go to the fishermen. So a lot of the doctors, who are, are trying to tell you not to do certain things because they're not scientific. It would be like asking them how to catch fish. So for example, you wanna catch a fish. The fish is better health, right? And that doctor is telling you how to catch fish and they've never caught a fish before because they've never done it. Um, so I always think it's better to go to the fishermen. If you wanna dive deeper into this and you don't believe uh, what I'm gonna lay out in this video, go talk to colonic doctors and people who are doing colonic hydrotherapy. Um, talk to people who have done cleanses. Go and do your research on this video as to the other points I'm going to make and see if, if they all align and then go make an educated decision based off of that. I'm here to tell you based on my own experience that mucoid plaque absolutely exists and it's there. The other argument that is usually made is that if mucoid plaque existed, why do radiologists not see it? And it's a very good question. My question for them is, 
how would they be able to identify it if they're not even looking for it? So a lot of these people are saying um, they've never seen it on a scan, but I've seen it firsthand come out of myself and my friends have shown me the pictures of what's happened to them. And at the end of the day, in my opinion, if you're aiming for optimal health, you should base everything based off of how you feel after. So after removing mucoid plaque for me, I feel absolutely amazing. I digest food better, I'm sleeping better, and I'm putting on more weight. Um, that is in direct correlation to what I've done. So now I have anecdotal evidence that there is something there. And the majority of the people that are telling you not to do something related to your health usually haven't tried it themselves. If they said, I tried this and it didn't work, and it's a waste of money, they have real world experience and they're more credible in my eyes. Whereas someone who just has a degree where they read from a textbook that has an agenda, not to do something that they don't know anything about because they've never experienced it, that's when you're getting into muddy water. Now, I'm sure you wanna hear about my experience removing mucoid plaque. So what I did, I'm actually in a program called the Detox Dudes. I actually work with Josh Mason in the program he discusses all of this stuff and he recommends this. This is called the Zen Cleanse Intestinal. If you go on this website, it's a company from Tibet. Um, very amazing product, super cool. They put a lot of love into it. But what they do, they have these enzymes, right? They have these enzymes here and also in this box. You take these enzymes one day after doing um, preferably a fast, a juice fast. And when you take this, um, you don't eat all day, you do some belly massages. And in a couple of hours or the next day, the plaque will come out. If you wanna see photos of the plaque, I'm, I'm gonna show some pretty nasty stuff right now. Um, so if, if you don't wanna see it, just fast forward. Uh, but if you do wanna see it, here they come. So this one is what came out of me. And I would assume that I didn't weigh it because that's just kind of gross, <laughs> even, even though I, I, I grabbed that thing with a glove, but it, it was at least two pounds and I had a lot more come out of me. It was very rubbery. It, was, it, it wasn't like a plastic, but it was like a rubber and it, it, it couldn't be broken. So where did that come from? A lot of people would be like, oh, that's just from, from undigested food. And exactly, it's from food that hasn't been digested because there was inflammation and it got stuck there and that needs to come out. Now, I'm gonna attach a document below about this company. They actually have a, an educational graphic that shows the different types of plaque that, that can come out of you. Um, the crazy thing is like some of my friends, I'll show a photo here, had like very wet stuff come out of them. And if you dive into Eastern medicine, especially ancient Chinese medicine, they talk about like a lot of heat in the body and a lot of wetness. If, if, if the body's too damp, that can lead to sickness. If the, if the body's too fiery, that can also lead to sickness. So depending on where you're at and what's going on in your body, you can only really tell by doing this yourself. Um, you'll be able to see what's in there. If you guys want to try this out, I highly recommend this. Um, you can use the code anti sugar daddy for 5% off. That'll cover your shipping um, The company is incredible. I particularly like them because they're a Taiwanese based company. I don't have an affiliation with Taiwan, but um, There's a lot of ancient science there and by ancient science. I mean medicine and uh, They actually put these enzymes in a dark room for two years and they sing Tibetan chants to it so they put a lot of love into their product and uh, everyone that I know that has taken it has seen results and the, the benefits that you can see from doing this obviously is going to be increased digestion um, feeling better after eating less bloating if you guys have like acid reflux and stuff like that this is definitely something that you're going to want to try to see if it helps and at the end of the day, we all know that the gut is like a second brain. It's where 90% of the serotonin is produced. So we should be cleaning our colons as much as possible. There's a video I watched recently from, from an MD uh, who basically said, 
because she does colonoscopies, she was basically saying that all you need to do is take the, the pharmaceutical drug before the colonoscopy and that will clean your colon and our bodies are perfectly capable of cleaning the colon on its own. If that were the case, why do we have so much colon cancer rates? especially in uh, the United States. If these colon doctors are truly helping people, how are they helping prevent? That's my question. And this is coming from experience working as an ICU nurse. Where's the prevention coming from? Because you can go get a colonoscopy when you're 40 years old, but if there's no prevention to preventing the cancer, the colonoscopy is only gonna tell you that you have cancer. It's not gonna teach you how to prevent this stuff. And from my own experience, if you want to prevent disease, you got to remove inflammation. And uh, this is, in my opinion, the number way to do it. The other thing is there's a lot of yogis out there that they've removed mucoid plaque and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of them are doing like very long fasts for above 72 hours without water, stuff like that. Um, and fruit diets and things that just aren't extremely sustainable, at least for my lifestyle. If you want to do that, you can. Um, but another reason that I've found this to be very applicable is because if you want to find something that works, don't don't look in in a in a 100 year time frame. Look in a in a thousand year time frame. And yogis have been um, cleaning their colons for ages. There's actually a yogic practice of being able to move your abdomen around so that you can digest better. And there's also a lot of reports through the ages of yogic people that go into the river and, and they put bamboo up their butt and they clean their colon in the river. And so if these people are doing it and they're extremely clean people and they have a very high frequency and energy and they just look alive when you look at them, if these people are doing that, I mean, you don't have to be that extreme, um, but colon cleansing is obviously something that you wanna look into. So if this is all new to you, or if this is something that you already know about and you've had experience with, I, I would love to hear your comments below. This is definitely a controversial topic, uh, but at the end of the day, I am here to help people with their wellness. I'm here to help people wake up um, and educate themselves and understand how to step into their power by removing toxins and, and other things in their bodies so that they can feel and experience what it's like living on earth to be completely clean like our ancestors did well, without all the toxins, without all the crap um, that's really holding us back. Look, I've been extremely sick before. I know what it's like to go from feeling like absolute crap and thinking that's the normal and living day by day just thinking that that's how existence is supposed to feel and then removing all the stuff becoming truly healthy and then being able to look back and compare the two there is a drastic difference compared to how I used to feel especially when I was sick compared to how I feel now I feel alive I feel vibrant and um, I'm only getting better and stronger every single day so if you guys are interested in diving deeper into this and you want more specific guidance or you want to jump into the course that I mentioned uh, with the detox dudes you can go ahead and book a call with me I'll put a link below um, and we can talk further about either joining the mastermind or joining the course in the Facebook group thank you so much for watching and remember sugar